In BotPress, there are a few methods you can use to make HTTP requests and API calls to external services. In this video, I'll show you a simple method for setting up these kinds of requests. The first thing we'll do is navigate to the Workflow Hub and search for the workflow that allows us to make HTTP requests or API calls. The Workflow Hub is a repository of publicly available workflows that other bot builders have made available for use in your bot. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and install this workflow. Once a workflow has been successfully installed, it's available for use in my bot via the card tray, so I can go ahead and drag it into my studio here. Now, all we have to do is configure this card to make the request we would like. First, in the request URL field, I'm going to go ahead and paste my request URL. For this example, I'm using the publicly available cat API, which just returns a cat that we'll be able to use for a demonstration. I'll also go ahead and change the card name here to something like cat API, just so I'll remember what I'm using it for later on. There are two pre-built outcomes in this card, one for a successful response and one for if I run into an error. Now, I want to isolate the image that's returned from this request so I can use it later on in my flow. I'm expecting to receive a URL that I'll be able to pull an image from. So, from the success outcome, I'm going to go ahead and place a standard node, and inside that node I'll place an image card. I'll make sure to toggle on the variable expression field so I can use JavaScript to isolate the variable that's returned from my API call. Now, let's go ahead and isolate the URL. I'm going to go ahead and start by identifying a workflow variable, and then making sure that I'm pulling it from cat API. Remember, this is the name that we gave to our HTTP request card. Then, I'm going to go ahead and place response because I want to get the URL from the response. I'll also isolate data, the first response, and I'll put .url, which will grab that URL for us later. Great. So now what I'm expecting is that this card will render an image from the returned URL. Now that we've put everything together, let's test it out. So over here in the emulator, I'll send a message to my bot, and I'm expecting just to receive that image of a cat in response. We see the bot running through that workflow, and as expected, we see the cat returning an image. Let's say I'm curious about what other information my bot has access to after successfully receiving a response from this API call. Let's try it out by sending a simple text card with the full contents of that response variable. So I'll place workflow.catapi.before, but this time I'll stop at just sending the entire response. Now let's go ahead and give that another try. If I send hi in my bot's emulator, I see that I receive a cat image like before, but this time I see all of the information that's sent to my bot from the API. This method abstracts away the code needed to make HTTP requests or API calls, and it's a great way to make these requests faster and more flexible. Pretty cool. Happy bot building!